time to teleport again. Now we have an explosive. Right, let's see if we can blast open the other side of this cave system. And just loop back around to the uh, phase gate ring. Where's going to be a good place to put my explosives though, right? It's, that's the awkward thing about this. Whatever. Let's see. Let's see what that one little explosive down the bottom does. That. Well, it does enough. <laughs> that looks precarious, but good enough. First of all, teleporter. There we go. And now let's go inside and see what we can find. Uh, see if we can find the... Oh, that's right. This place was flooded, so oxygen is actually going to be relevant again. <laughs> yeah, minus 3.6. That's funny. We haven't had to worry about oxygen for a while. We don't have any canisters on us either, so we better be careful. But yeah, this is a, an interesting one. The fact that it's flooded means we actually have to pay attention to our oxygen again. <laughs> At least until we get here and then it just fills up. So we don't need to worry about canisters and such. But now the next question is what actually unlocked? Here, there we go, and here's a safe. Nice. A pulsar quartz. Well, one's good. It's a, a partial refund. And a ton of Terra tokens. Okay. 100, 1,000, 500. Another production multiplier, an energy multiplier fuse. That's an interesting one. I might just stash that. I don't feel I need it, but... Another 5,000, 100, 500. All right, well, that's uh, that's a lot. Nothing up at this section. No, that was the only, only one. Such a big base originally, but that's uh, yeah, that's the only thing that we got. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's pop back and dump that stuff off and move on. And then we want to get some more. Um, obsidian and we can upgrade some things we now have the ability to make things extremely extremely fast let's go teleporting again i'm looking forward to having some fish and stuff too at least we get butterflies around here though did this used to be a yeah this this used to be a big canyon area i think I think there's a couple of caves in these areas as well, which are now probably flooded, so that's interesting. I think one of them had uranium in it, so a little bit dangerous. There was a crash satellite over here too. Is that now flooded? This one hasn't flooded, interestingly, even though it's quite low. I don't know if I never came here or whether it just wasn't that useful, but here's some uranium if we ever need some. Oh, there's another blueprint. I guess we never came here. Uh, let's prioritize getting some obsidian, I think, first, before we do too much else, because I really want to upgrade a uh, multiplier. Oh, our rocket's back. Let's just load this up. I can also take my fusion cell in here, actually, as well. Oh, it's a fusion power plant. That's right. <laughs> All right. And now we put a teleporter down next to the fusion power plant, I guess. There we go. There's another crate over here too. Oh, which we seem to have not emptied. Let's go... Okay, there's the obsidian. We'll go teleport back. Drop all of this stuff off. And then grab the obsidian. Uh, this is going to be a rocket full of uranium rods, I think. Okay, so we've got our eggs, so rocket boosters and rods, first of all. <laughs> Pop these in here. Ah, oh, we can't put those in here. Okay, so we've got some frog eggs that we can't use yet. Grab a ton of those, and let's just fill this up and send it on its way again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Easy. Uh, that'll do. Uh, but that's fine. Let's grab some more obsidian, shall we? Three. I only really need three. So let's grab some extra as well, because uh, used for the fusion thing. 
at some point we can just put down a uh, extractor just to make sure that we get even more of it. The next thing is going to be popping into this wreck and seeing what else is in there. Ninety-one seconds. Yes, less than half, because these were one sixty. Okay, so it's not absurd, but because these were two hundred, now they're one hundred and fourteen. Yeah, so it's not like completely broken, but it is a huge increase. These are not quite done. Yes, they are. It says one hundred percent. Just wasn't letting me click on them to start with. I've noticed the angle is a bit odd. Yeah, so they grew in nice rows. Hey, and now we have enough for one more cookie. So absurd that it's one more cookie is all that it gives me, and that's only worth nine tokens. Increases running speed for a small period. I jetpack everywhere. I really don't need that right now. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's head into the wreck again, shall we? Up the ladder, was it? Yeah, here we go. And these are the methane cartridges that I missed the first time around. I was looking for methane for so long just to make tier 2 deconstruction. And when I was looking on the highlight, I, I saw them just out the corner of my eye. That Hang on, those look like methane cartridges. I could have had progression so much earlier than I did. Oh, this needs two. Ooh, okay. I need more pulsar quartz for that. That's annoying. I should have checked before I um, used that because I could have gone somewhere else instead. But this does look like it has a lot of doors that are going to open up when that thing is enabled. So I guess that makes sense. Isn't there a big uh, cavern that led down towards the Mushroom Kingdom? I thought that that had Pulsar Quartz. Maybe I'm wrong. So was it down here? I know there was something down here, but I'm not sure if it had the pink crystals. No, this just goes through to the mushroom cave. Yeah. What am I thinking of where there was like some specks of pink? Because pulsar quartz you cannot dig up, crucially. So that's a good point. I did get an energy multiplier fuse, which means maybe I could deconstruct a fusion power plant. I've got two of them, in fact. Hmm. If I make a single multiplier and put all my fusion plants near it, then I could deconstruct one. <laughs> there you go, that's now affecting that. Does it does it catch with that one? No, it's out of range. Deconstruct this one without losing power. In fact, our power is probably still fine. Yeah, 8500. And then we can unlock that wreck. Second one, there we go. So what did we actually get for the investment of two, not just one, two energy cells? What did we get? Okay, here's the first safe. Oh, another energy multiplier fuse. 1100, 1600, 2100, 7100, 7200. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> That's a lot of tokens. I still want to get more pulsar quartz though. Okay, here's an, here's another door. Uh, some more tokens, another 500, so 7600 total, no 7700 I think total. 7300, a lot of mutagen. Yeah. So not stuff that I can't just kind of make myself, basically. That was not a great return on investment, I feel. You know, if you were playing this with two people, what you would do is, because you have a small window where you can remove the things, but I think the door opens immediately. So you have someone waiting by the door, you pop the fusion things in, they go inside the door, you pull them out again, <laughs> and basically lock them in there. I think that would work. 
Now, the other thing that I also remember, though, is... Uh, one I should drink. <laughs> but we'll do that soon. Uh, this, I'm going to deconstruct that from being there. Because I want to put it down where it's going to be affected by my multiplier. There we go. And that's another 150%. Good. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? We've got tier 1, tier 2, and tier 4. Because we skipped tier 3, because that's funny. Um, we could also just send up some more like plant rockets and stuff if we wanted to and just really boost our biomass production. Currently we don't have many things that need that though, so I'm not feeling it's lack too much. We get some different fish eggs at 50. Okay, but we don't have the collector yet. We're still waiting on that. Maybe we want more oxygen um, in the atmosphere just by sending up another satellite for that instead. Maybe that's a goer. The correct thing to do would be not to have traded away. Okay, we get to make Pulsar Quartz soon. Never mind. And they have a t trade value of 25 Terra Tokens when we do. Uh, let's teleport back and move on to another place. I don't have another fusion thing yet, though. Yeah, that's fine. We'll worry about that when we get to the next wreck. I'll move on to the Oasis wreck. First things first. I do need to be on the lookout for different uh, larvae as well. Oh, they're all common around here. Oh, there's a rare one though. But I want uh, not just rare, I want the special... More rare ones, okay. But I, I specifically want special butterfly ones, not just rare ones. Another rare one. Well, regardless, we get plenty of opportunities to try and make special butterfly ones. And here's some fish. Now, why can't I just collect eggs from you? Why do I need to build a special thing? They, they should be just loose somewhere, surely. Oh well. We have fish now. That's nice. Can I eat them? Hey, now we can make pulsar quartz. Now that's going to be super expensive, surely, right? Right? That's going to have huge, like, super alloy rod, osmium rods, all of that stuff, right? Biolab? Yes, biolab. Osmium, zeolite, iridium, and uranium, and methane. Really? That's all? I mean, okay, zeolite we're going to have to set up a mine for if we want to really plunder it, but that seems super cheap. <laughs> we have a ton of zeolite anyway, and yeah, we have three of those regardless, so. So I guess that's something we actually want the loose stuff for, and we kind of want to deconstruct some of the rods now. There we go. And now we can make another power cell. They are marginally worth more than three pulsar crystals alone to trade, but only marginally. All good. Uh, let's pack what we can into this. So we've got fabric and that. What am I saving up to buy? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making stuff. It's like it's part of the process, right? It's a case of, well, I've got that stuff there. There's nothing there that I really care about buying at the moment, but I don't know what else might come available. So I may as well, like, I've got the process there. 500%. Nice. But yeah, it's not that useful for me, quite frankly. I, sh I shouldn't probably care about it that much. It is a bit of a waste of time. But in the same way that I know that making cookies isn't useful for me because they are never going to pay itself off. What I should actually do is rip the seeds out and send them back because I, I can do that. Um, I even have, that's a good point actually, I even have the spare seeds so I can just rip these out and send them back. So I've made the cookie. There you go. I'll get a refund. At least you do get an even refund. They, they do take them back, which is nice. Um, so I shouldn't even be bother growing them, but I'm just still going to because it's fun. A little longer than a few minutes later. Cool. Um, what do we even have in here that was worth so much? Oh yeah, I'm sending the, the seeds back. Refund. <laughs> okay, let's go and check out that wreck again. Three? <sighs> I made two. 
And now I need three. That's just rude. Because I know that I'm not going to get my money's worth back either. That's a little bit, yeah, very rude. Oh well, we will do it. I'll come back and I'll do that. But that just means that I need to make three more pulsar quartz. So if we go, are you rare, you are. Turns out the rare larvae, not so rare at the moment. But since I have such an excess of super alloy, there is no need for me whatsoever to still have a resource extractor <laughs> in a super alloy cave. Put the mine in the pulsar quartz cave because it doesn't work. I tried that. <laughs> Shrink. Empty and extract. And now I'll just have to find where the zeolite extraction point is. The, it indicated on the map out the back of the Osmium cave, but it feels to me like the starry sky place seems a more reasonable place to expect to find it. But I don't know, we'll try it. Because I did have the tier 2 in here for the Osmium, but then according to my map, if I go up this way, these crystals up here, it should give me zeolites. Yes. Good. Still ice in this cave. Cool. And that will eventually get me some more zeolite, presumably. Um, we'll see how long that takes. I should also grab the warden keys again and find that other coordinate. Because there's one more set of coordinates that I've got. Oh, some more tarot tokens. Okay. It's wild that I'm now just starting to pick them up in crates that I never did in the first place, but now I do. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Now, there's osmium at first through here. But I thought there was some pink. Yes, there is. And to be fair, maybe if I find this sort of thing, like the, the rainbow caves was not giving me pulsar quartz. But maybe here would, because it's exclusively pulsar quartz through this cave system. So, yeah, possible that the tier 2 extractor could get them from here. Don't know. Pick it up. Thank you. But we've got four of them now, at least, so that's, that's decent. Where does this even go? I don't think I've even come here from the other end. We've got uh, a waterfall, apparently. Is there some other way that I was meant to go up? We'll go right as much as we can. Another one. It's five. It's enough for a fusion reactor. We can get one more. Uh, ah, top of the crater. Okay. Cool. So our base is over there. Interesting. Alright. This must have been blocked by ice when I first came here, I guess. What else is up here? Oh, here's the waterfall area. Okay. Uh, crates over here. This is where I wish I'd brought my teleporter with me still. It's not too far to go back and grab it, to be honest. Can't quite grab everything. That's fine. We'll grab the important things. We just put back all of these anyway, because we don't care. I don't think I've explored through here all that much either. Yeah, I don't think we've explored through here very much either. This is very much the... This is very Jurassic Parky. <laughs> uh, so, we need two of those and one of those. And then we can make another one of those. And now we just want to ditch all of these. Alright. Uh, incubator. Fish eggs. Oh, I unlocked a different type of fish eggs, but I still need phytoplankton. Okay, so I still need to get the uh, collector from Oxygen, I think. Yeah, the Oxygen track. Oh, I'm so close. Okay, that's going to happen soon. Oh, well, they did require multiple prior to the update. Ah, okay, cool. Well, if the ones close to home are the cheaper ones, maybe I should go to the nearest wreck instead. <laughs> well, I, I don't need to make another one yet. It's just I'll, I'll need to make another one later. 